I mean, fans do have the the right to be upset because they've been bad for so long. I mean, <laughs> at, at, at some point, you just kind of get used to losing, uh, to losing, and I think a lot of people have. But we we said forty games. The next thirty one are all against teams that were over five hundred. Like, how upset can you really get? I don't really know. Well, I think most years, let's say let's say they just gotten done with a stretch of winning baseball, and this was a rebuilding starting now and they they had contended as recently as two years ago right which they haven't obviously but let's say they had uh, people wouldn't have that excuse of oh we're sick of rebuilding okay um so now you could just say okay now they, they they're a bad team they need to strip it down and start over and they're rebuilding great we've been through a couple rebuilds already in the last decade uh so it's hard for them to sell that now as well, we got a new guy in charge. We're going to strip it down again and uh, rebuild it up. It's just ringing on deaf ears, right? Uh, there's so many folks who are just sick of the uh, the level of baseball that they've had. They're sick of having the standings being, you know, meaningless by the early May most of the time. Um, so it is hard for for fans to put up with this right now. Um, they want to see a product that's at least improving, right? That there's hope for, but right now there's not a lot of hope. Uh, they're playing very bad baseball. Uh, they were predicted to be a bad baseball team and they're playing worse than, <laughs> than the predictions were. So it's an ugly situation. And one thing when it gets this bad, you know, at certain points in my professional life, uh, we've had organizations that were new and struggling or whatever. And a question that I always like to ask is forget about everything that's bad right now. What are we doing? That's good. What's working. What can we hang our hat on? So I like to try to apply that to sports teams too, when they're going badly. And, you know, when you look at this tiger team, what's going well and, under there's a couple maybe individuals who are doing okay right we talked about carpenter uh you know we talked about uh at least torkelson is showing signs of life i mean those are some good things but if you look at the broader picture starting pitching we just talked about it kind of weak bullpen kind of weak offense well total in total they're not scoring a lot of runs <laughs> you know um defense you know maybe at times they've made some nice plays but they've they've had some sloppiness too there's just nothing right now as a team that they can hang their hat on and say yeah well, at least if nothing else we're doing this well and that's a hard place to be and that's certainly a hard ticket for them to sell to people 